Welcome to my channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to be the first to know about my new uploads. Moreover, feel free to visit Bubble Bright Kids, my other channel filled with entertaining videos. Did you know that the giant panda is known as a national treasure in China? Intriguing, right? Wait, no, not Kung Fu Panda, silly. The real panda, he doesn't know Kung Fu. Today, we're going on a fantastic voyage to the lush bamboo forests of China, where the enchanting pandas reside. As we embark on this expedition, you might recollect our previous exploration where we discussed extinct and endangered species, like the dodo bird. If you don't, just go back and check it out. Now, the panda. Pandas are intriguing animals with a host of unique features that set them apart in the animal kingdom. They're not only adorable and cuddly, but they are also skilled climbers, bamboo eaters, and doting parents. But did you know that on July 11, 2011, the World Wildlife Fund declared these adorable creatures a protected species under the Endangered Species Act? And that's just the beginning, folks. We've got a trove of interesting facts and thrilling tales about pandas. So, are you ready to venture into the bamboo-filled world of pandas? Hold on to your hats as we take off on a journey through the life of a panda. Imagine being born in a lush, verdant den, deep within the heart of the enchanting Chinese bamboo forests. That's how life commences for a panda cub. In these secluded green corners of the world, a panda cub experiences its first breath. Born during the summer, these tiny creatures commence their lives in the coziness of a tree hollow or a cave, safely tucked away from the bustling forest environment. At birth, they are blind, toothless, and tiny, only about the size of a stick of butter, a stark contrast to the giant charming creatures they'll grow up to be. For the initial few months of their lives, panda cubs stay nestled close to their mother in their woodland den. It's a period of rapid growth propelled by their mother's rich, nutritious milk. By the time autumn arrives and the leaves begin to fall, these cubs, now fluffy and round, are ready to step outside for the first time. Venturing out into the vast, vibrant wilderness is a big leap for these small cubs. It's an entirely new world of towering bamboo trees and rustling leaves, but they're not solitary. Their mother, a towering figure of strength and protection, is consistently by their side, guiding them, teaching them the ways of the forest. Together, they explore their lush home, learning to navigate the bamboo forest. It's a time of discovery and play, but also a crucial period of learning survival tactics. From their mother, the cubs learn how to forage for bamboo, their primary food source, and how to stay safe from potential threats. As the cubs grow, they become more confident, more skilled at maneuvering their verdant world. They start to embody the characteristics of adult pandas, their playful pranks slowly giving way to the serious business of survival in one of the most diverse environments on Earth. From being a small blind cub to stepping out into the vast bamboo wilderness, the life of a panda commences with an extraordinary journey. As the panda matures, it picks up a critical survival skill, foraging. In the dense bamboo forests of China, this ability is a lifeline. So how do these remarkable creatures learn how to survive so well? Well, it all begins when the cubs are still quite young. They learn by observing their mother. Pandas aren't born with this knowledge. They have to learn it just as much as we learn to ride a bike or tie our shoes. Now let's talk about what pandas really love to eat. Can you guess? That's right. Their favorite meal is bamboo. These plants are high in fiber and are a major part of a panda's diet. But finding the perfect bamboo shoot is not an easy task. Pandas are patient foragers, often spending hours a day munching on their preferred meal. When they find the right bamboo shoot, they use their strong jaw and sharp teeth to crunch through it. It's a bit like a game of find the needle in the haystack, only much greener. Bamboo forests play an essential role in this foraging process. It's like the panda's dining room. As habitats change and bamboo forests diminish, it becomes harder for pandas to forage. This is one of the reasons why it's so important to help protect their environment. Pandas are also opportunistic feeders. That means they'll eat other plants and even meat if bamboo is not available. This can range from fruits and roots to small rodents and birds. He's an interesting fact about pandas. Did you know that giant pandas spend 10, 16 hours a day feeding, mainly on bamboo? You heard me right, 10 to 16 hours. Now, more about some more serious information about pandas. Did you know that in the 1980s, pandas were on the brink of extinction with a population of less than 1,000? Yes, these wonderful creatures are considered an endangered species and it's all because of the difficulties they face in their bamboo forests. As you know, pandas are reliant on bamboo. It makes up virtually their entire diet. 
However, due to deforestation and habitat fragmentation, the bamboo supply is decreasing at an alarming rate. Imagine your favorite food disappearing little by little each time you want a meal. That's exactly what's happening to the panda's bamboo food source. As their habitats shrink, they have less space to roam and hunt for bamboo. This means they have less opportunity to feed, which they need to do almost constantly because of the low nutritional value of bamboo. Without enough bamboo, they can struggle to survive and feed their young. Not only is their food source rapidly dwindling, but they also have to traverse longer distances to reach unspoilt bamboo forests. These long journeys can be especially challenging for newborn cubs. Sometimes, they don't make it. Now you may be wondering, why don't pandas just adapt to the changing environment? You see, evolution is a process that takes thousands of years. Unfortunately, the bamboo forests are disappearing much faster than pandas can adapt. So what does this mean for the pandas? The loss of their bamboo forests due to deforestation is the biggest threat to their survival. If we don't act now, scientists predict that we could lose wild pandas by the end of the century. The bamboo-loving panda is now in need of our help to survive. Saving them is not just about saving a species, but also about preserving the delicate ecosystem of the bamboo forests. After all, every creature, big or small, plays a vital role in maintaining the balance of our planet, and pandas are no exception. What can we do to safeguard these captivating inhabitants of the East? Well, the solution to that is simpler than you might anticipate. We can all contribute to protecting our panda companions and their bamboo-rich habitats. A crucial step we can take is to promote and practice sustainable living. This involves things like minimizing waste, reducing our water usage, and encouraging the use of renewable resources. These measures help preserve natural habitats, including the bamboo forests that pandas call home. So how can we promote sustainability? It's straightforward. We can recycle or compost our waste, conserve water by taking shorter showers, and opt for energy-efficient appliances. Even minor changes can have a significant impact. Another way we can assist is by supporting conservation initiatives. Conservation is all about the protection and preservation of nature and wildlife. Numerous organizations are tirelessly striving to protect pandas and their habitats. They conduct activities such as monitoring panda populations, drafting laws for their protection, and educating people about the importance of conserving these remarkable supporting these organizations can be as simple as learning and sharing information about pandas, or it might involve donating money or time to their cause. Remember, every contribution counts. We can also make environmentally friendly choices in our daily lives. This could mean using reusable water bottles instead of disposable ones, recycling, or even planting more trees. All these actions contribute to a healthier planet, which in turn benefits our panda friends. It's vital to remember that while these actions might seem minor, when we all perform them collectively, they can contribute to a significant change. So, let's all do our part to protect the pandas and their bamboo-rich habitats. Every small action counts. Together we can make a big difference for the pandas and our planet. So, we have ventured into the life of a panda today. From birth to maturity, these captivating animals certainly lead a fascinating life. We've uncovered how they are born and grow up in the dense bamboo-filled regions of China. We've reflected on their diet, mainly made up of bamboo, and comprehended the threats they face such as habitat loss and climate change. Remember how we talked about endangered and extinct animals in our last video about dodo birds? Well, in September of 2016, the giant panda's status was improved from endangered to vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. That's a monumental stride towards securing their survival. But our expedition doesn't stop here. We also deliberated on what we can do to safeguard these enchanting pandas and their habitat. Every single action makes a difference. Keep an eye out for more extraordinary creatures in our forthcoming videos. Who knows, you might encounter your new favorite animal. See you soon, Bubble Bright Watchers.